welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing this cute kitty. Um, her name is Panda. Um, she's never had a professional bath before or professional grooming for, for that matter. Panda! And she's just sniffing around. She's not good with other dogs, so that's why we're here alone today. And she's a friend of a friend, so she can't sniff by her name. Mama! Just letting her take her time. Gotta build some trust here. Because she doesn't know us and we don't know her. Want some more? Oh, Daddy, yes. Hey, you don't want that one? want these ones? You don't want them at all? Weedy. Come on, Panda. Good job. Good girl. She's kind of trying to guide her up to the tub. Come on. Good job, Mama. Come on. Good girl. Yes, you can. Oh, good job, honey. It's a little bit of encouragement. Good job. Do not take a tub. Hey, no. No, please. Okay, Panda. Okay, Mama. Okay, honey. Oh, honey. It's okay. Good job. Good girl. Hey everyone, so this is voiceover Magdalena. I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this part of the video because I was trying to explain a lot of stuff about aggression, signs of stress, and behavior, and it just wasn't coming across very clear in the audio in the video, so I'm just gonna redo it here because I didn't like how I sounded and I didn't like that I wasn't being clear enough. I didn't really have anything set up in my head, but now that I got to go and look over this and kind of gather myself and the information that I know, I can better explain to you the signs of stress, signs of aggression, and just better explain what I'm doing here because doing Panda's bath was a struggle and you'll see that in just a minute. But I just want to talk about the signs of stress and signs of aggression in this part where we're rubbing her here. We, I was talking about that, but I didn't like how that sounded. So a sign of stress here is licking the lips. Sometimes dogs will do that to warn you that hey you know I'm feeling a little uncomfortable here I need a little bit of space leaning or turning the head or body away from you is a sign of stress panting and shivering um, ears being pulled back sometimes they do that when they're also outside in the cold or if it's too hot out when they have wide eye so if you see them kind of tilting their head up and away from you and you can see the whites of their eyes that is a huge sign of stress resisting and stiffness now signs of aggression are the obvious I think we all know is growling and snarling stiffness and slow moving and a rounded back and then sometimes closer towards the base of the tail on their back in the middle of their back they have these things called hackles and sometimes when they get really excited or they are feeling, um, I guess, aggressive, their hackles will go up and the fur just kind of stands up on the back of their back, closer to the base of the tail. Um, and low head, like 
down past their shoulders or closer to their shoulders when they're hanging their head kind of low, that's definitely a sign of aggression. And low wags. Low wags can mean a couple of different things. So when their tail is low, like in between their legs or close to in between their legs and it's kind of wagging, that can be a sign of nervousness or it could be a sign of aggression it, it, or, or submissiveness. It really depends on what the rest of the dog is doing. So a lot of these things will all be happening at once. So there's a lot to look out for when you're working on a dog. Sometimes it'll just be one thing. Sometimes it could be a couple different things happening like a rounded back with a really low head and stiff and slow moving. That is one of them. That's something we see with when dogs approach each other is if a dog is acting or feeling aggressive or is aggressive, I should say, they'll have a kind of curled back and low head and kind of like sniffing the dog and we can kind of sense that there's a little bit of aggression happening so it's best that we separate them. We are cage free so it is really crucial that we are aware of these things. Now as you can see Panda is struggling here and something that I was explaining in the video that I don't think came across very well or clearly was that the way that I'm handling her and that I'm moving her is for her safety. It is for my safety too, but the dog's safety is always number one. So the way that I'm moving her is, yes, she's heavy. She's extremely heavy. She's heavy and dense. She's like a brick, like most pit bulls are. So I, I really think she's about like 70 to 80 pounds. I don't know for sure. I don't have a scale but I had to kind of move her away from the edge of the tub and kind of readjust her because the leash or the lead that she's on, when they pull, it tightens. So I had to readjust her a little bit and I will continue to readjust her to find what works best for her. And this was her first bath, so she was extremely nervous for it. Her father actually told me that no one's been able to bathe Panda at home because she would always just try to leave. And that's exactly what she was trying to do. So I was just trying to do my best to make sure she didn't hurt herself and that we got through the bath safely. And yeah, after the bath, she will be going to the floor dryer for about 20 minutes and then we'll continue on with the video. This dog was super, super sweet. She didn't give me any signs of aggression. I mean, she did like a little bit of licking her lips and kind of, you know, really unsure of what was happening, but I felt like neither of us got bad vibes from each other. Another thing I do talk about later on in the video is listening to your butterfly, meaning listening to your gut. Okay, and that goes for like any situation in life. So I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this part of the video and I'll be back in a couple minutes. Bye.
I put this on you? And this is just a rubber curry brush. We use it on a lot of short hair dogs. On a dog like this, I would never ever use a Furminator. That is a no-no because their coat is so um, short and so thin. And I just like going in circular motions. She's doing really well. You can tell she wouldn't hurt a fly. Um, her body language tells me she's nervous, but not aggressive. Usually if I get a dog that's never done this before or if I get weird vibes and like my butterfly goes off and I'm getting this weird gut feeling that the dog is going to be aggressive or what have you in any way, shape or form, I listen to that. Um, because when anytime I have not gone with my gut, I regretted it. Um, this girl's very teak. You are shedding a lot, sis. I think my phone's dead, but let me try.
So these ears are pretty dirty. Nothing, it's not bad, but they're just dirty. That's all it is. It's not infected or anything. Um, so. Since she's being so good, I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and get in those little crevices. I never go down into the canal with a Q-tip because that's dangerous. Good girl, honey. Good girl. It's gonna go into these crevices right above the ear canal. So it's nice and clean. Ow. You got junk. You got four years of junk built up in there. My gosh. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We don't need to go. Good job. Probably feels nice. Oh, it feels so good. Look at that. Mm. Much better. Much better. Check out the other side. Yeah, I know. Get up. Mm. This side looks actually cleaner than the other side. It's just a different pigment. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Maybe it is. Maybe the pigment is disguising the dirt. We'll see. Yeah, it's pretty. It's some dirt. Ooh. It's like there's a lot of dirt and stuff. Ooh, I feel good. Oh my god, my smell. Huh. She doesn't like it too much in this year. Gotta clean it. Let me see, honey. Does it hurt? Come here. Come here, let me see. She's kind of snarling her lip, which tells me either it hurts or she just doesn't like it. It is pinker than the other side, so it could, something could be brewing in here. Um, good girl. I'm just gonna have her dad keep an eye on it. If it gets really red and irritated, then he might have to go see a vet for it, but um, she may just be sick of us messing with her. Girl, honey. Can I smell? Oh. Hi, folks. Alright, so since I don't know how she does her nails, I'm just going to hook her up to this um, groomer's helper. She um, just prevents her from whipping around and, and uh, snapping at me if she feels threatened. Can I smell? Okay, smell. We can tell that she is getting pretty worried here um, just because of her, the level of her head and the way she's kind of checking on what we're doing here. She's kind of licking her lips. That's also a sign of um, being unsure. So if you just want to move your hand for him, for the first, just in case. I'm just gonna tap her, tap her foot. Can I see, honey? I'm just gonna keep talking to her. Good girl. Just gonna investigate. Take the little. Oh, good job, honey. Just take the littlest bit off. Good job, mamas. Good girl. Doing so well, honey. Doing so good. I'm gonna come over to the other side. Be gentle. If you are snatching the feet around and giving a dog a reason to be aggressive then they will act out. If I snatched up her foot, if my hairdresser snatched up my hair, my head, I'd get pretty pissed. Okay, can we see? Can we see Mama? Let's see, cutie. Good girl. Her foot is very relaxed. She's not um, pulling or anything, so that's a really good sign that she does not mind this. Good girl. You can really tell that this dog has never felt pain before or any signs of aggression.